oh my god my wife said the fucking greatest thing to me ever to fucking motivate me to work out i was sitting there looking in in, in the mirror in the bathroom and i just fat shame myself every fucking night that's how i stay in shape right and i just you know i went off the rails and I ate steak and shake twice, and I ate McDonald's twice, and I had Burger King. This month has been like fast food when I've been on the road. I don't know what's been going on with me, right? So I was looking at the results of that diet, and I was just looking in the mirror, and I, I called myself a tub of fuck, which I've never said in my life. I was just like, you fucking soft, mushy tub of fuck. And then... Nia was in the other room going like, what's going on with you? I go, I don't know. Look at me. I'm fucking, I'm a mess. She goes, you don't look that bad. I go, yeah, I do. Look at me. I got a fucking dad bod now. And she goes, no, you don't. I go, Nia, you're not helping me. You know, I need honesty here. And then she just goes, all right. You're not as tone as you once were. And I just went, fuck you. She goes, I'm sorry you said that. And I said, no, you're doing me a favor. So that's it. Now I've been on it. I've been on it like the Joe Rogan company. I've been fucking on it. All right? Oatmeal. Fucking poached egg in the morning. By the way, when you make your poached eggs, if you want to have them like they do in the restaurant, you know it's, it's spooning with itself. This is such a simple trick. I didn't even know it for all these years. Just swirl the water. I know I've said this before, but maybe you missed the podcast. Just swirl the water. Get a little whirlpool going. Okay, and then you crack the egg, you drop it right down the center. And it's like a figure skater. You know, when they do the fucking spinning around, it just it brings its arms in. And there you go. You take it out with a slotted spoon. You put it on a fucking English muffin, unless you're like me. If you're a tub of fuck and you're trying to lose weight, there's no English muffin. It's just sitting there naked and afraid. That is the dumbest fucking show. Do you know there's no prize? These people go out there and get like fucking Lyme disease. Got ants crawling around in their balls and up into their fucking private parts. I mean, I just don't understand why you would do that. Cavemen were not naked. They were definitely afraid, but they fucking killed something and they covered up their junk. I actually saw this guy naked in a fucking tree with a hatchet. This is just a commercial because I refuse to watch that. I, I don't watch that show. You know, black people won't watch shit that, because it's a bad representation of themselves. That's what that show is for white people. There's very few shows out there that... that bring white people down you know because white people are running shit so we always make ourselves the fucking heroes um naked and afraid that's not a good show for white people (laughs) that is every stereotype of a fucking white person just like you know i think my life is just too fucking easy i gotta make it difficult what if i just took all my clothes off went into the fucking jungle and saw if i could survive naked and afraid so this fucking guy and just in the commercial for it he's up in a tree and he's fucking hacking at this branch in this tree he's sitting in and then the whole fucking branch collapses and it's just like that reminds me of some shit from like bugs bunny where the somebody be sitting on a branch and they're sawing off and they're sitting on the wrong side of it and then they fall off or the whole tree falls down i literally watched this guy do it live action a real person did that to himself he was but he was hacking on the right side but still, I don't know what happened. The whole thing fucking falls. And now he's falling in to like a bunch of like branches sticking all like with just completely naked. You know? I never cut my balls my entire life. I never got a scratch on my balls, nothing, because they were covered up. I had on a pair of pants. Climbs a fucking tree naked. Um... Anyways, I don't know why I'm talking about this. I don't know why I have this level of passion for a fucking show I don't, I don't even watch. 